Hello, we're going to go over the Navian NPN units. These are units that were designed to be a direct replacement for the Renai water heaters that have been sold for the last almost 20 years now. The NPN units come as a dedicated indoor or dedicated outdoor unit. You can get them both ways. And the NPNU is the universal, that's for your indoor unit. And your E is external, that has the exhaust vent right on the cover. These units feature a premium non-condensing stainless steel heat exchanger, stainless steel burners, the NPN E again is a dedicated outdoor unit, and pretty much this is an industry standard uh, configuration. And mainly what that means is these things are dimensionally identical to the Renai units that are already in place. So as those units reach the end of their life, you guys have the ability to sell a Navian instead of a unit that can have pricing from the internet, home centers, etc. Our units do have a stainless steel heat exchanger. Most of your other non-condensing units out there have a copper heat exchanger with a much lower life expectancy. We also have stainless steel burners inside. Our input range goes from 10,700 BTU low fire across all models, all the way up to 199,000 BTU. These units can produce up to five gallons a minute at a 67 degree rise. This is typically enough for a two and a half, even a three bath house. And again, most of the sales for this unit, unless they're going into new construction, are probably gonna be retrofits for Renai or other products. For our gas, we're going to need pretty much, again, industry standard between 3.5 and, and 10 inches of water column for natural gas, 8 to 13 inches for propane. There is a minimum flow rate to fire these heaters of half a gallon a minute, 0.5 GPM. The unit will not fire unless you have 0.5 GPM, and it's going to turn off somewhere around 0.3, 0.4. All the connections are industry standard, 3 quarter inch hot and cold and gas. It is 120 volt AC power. We're just going to plug it into the wall. It is 150 watts if you have an external pump up to 1.5 amps and we have a 5 amp fuse built in. If your freeze protection is on, it draws a maximum of 114 watts. For our warranty, this is a much better warranty than everybody else's unit out there. We are 15 years on the heat exchanger, 5 years on the parts, first year labor. If you're using it in an uncontrolled recirculation application, it's 5 years on the heat exchanger. That's if you're forcing water through it with an external pump that we're not controlling. If you're doing it as a combi unit, like with hydro air and an air handler, your warranty is reduced to five years as well, or uncontrolled commercial application that would also be five years on the heat exchanger. Five-year parts, three-year parts if it's uncontrolled recirc on a commercial application. The accessories that come with it are, of course, instruction manual, some mounting pins, and if it's an outdoor unit, it comes with the wired remote because you would not want to run outside to change the temperature. The wired remote can also be added to the indoor unit. Other accessories available, of course, you can add a remote to the indoor unit if you like. The Easy Plum valve kit, the ReadyLink racks, the connection cables for basically daisy chaining multiple units. We also have the external pump connector for controlling research pump. You can use the Navi link, and uh, we have the recessed wall boxes for the outdoor units and the Navian hot button kit, which we'll talk about here in a few minutes. Installation location is very important. In a lot of cases, these are going to be retrofits going back where the old heater is. If it's a new construction application, you want to make sure that you got good access to your water, gas, and vent. I usually tell them, find out where the vent's going first, and then make sure you have adequate gas to feed the product. The units come with adjustable wall mounting brackets. They can be slid in and out to match the vent that's there. I think you get about three or four inches of adjustment. These things will hook into existing vent. However, you're supposed to use our vent with it. Our vent is certified for use with that product. We were not able to certify it to the Renai vent. That said, the Renai vent will fit and it will work. But if Navian finds out that they use someone else's venting product later, they're gonna make them replace the vent to keep from voiding the warranty on the unit. The recessed wall box is something that was pretty popular in new construction for outdoor units. You may already have this box in place, in which case our unit should fall right back in there with the same mounting holes and same connections. Or if you're doing new construction and the builder wants to put it in a box, he can add this box to the house. For water connections, pretty much the same as everybody's three quarter in and out. We do have the pipe kit available as an accessory. This gives you your flush connections for service in the unit and troubleshooting. And of course your relief valve that's required by code. For recirculation, we do not have a built-in circulator for this unit. So you'd have to add an external pump for the core just basically plugs right into the TB1 connector inside, very simple stuff. And from the menu in the board, you can actually, or not the board, but the controller, you can program when that thing recircs. You can also program it from the, from the keypad, 
the wired remote unit, or if you have the Navilink, you can program it from your phone in the app. Gas connection, again, we just need three and a half to 10 for natural, eight to 13 for LP. It is a positive pressure gas valve, so gas pipe sizing is a little more critical than our NPA units. So you wanna make sure the gas pipe is sized adequately. If it's not, someone needs to run that calculation. The venting is inner wall and outer wall, stainless steel on the top connection. There is an internal dam in there with a little drain. And what this is for, as you vent the unit up and out on a short run, if it's on the wrong side of the house, or not wrong, but northeast side of the house, you could have weather blow up in there. This connection should be hooked up. It's just a little 5 8 connection. Slide a piece of clear poly tubing over it, zip tie a little pigtail in it, put some water in there and you're good. Also, any kind of venting that goes vertical, you want to hook that up. That keeps water from getting back to the water heater. This is a non-condensing unit. It's not designed to handle drain water, even from the vent. For our vent links, we can go up to 43 feet with a maximum of 590s or 545s, five bins in general. Number of elbows and feet, this is all in the vent installation table inside the owner's manual and installation guide of the heater. Common application would be just up and out the wall. Our pipe is gasketed and comes with lubricant to lubricate those gaskets. You want to use that because if you don't, you're going to roll the gasket and not make a good seal. Uh, one thing you'll also find out with people that are doing replacements for Renai's, they're going to break the vent most of the time. So you're going to have to replace the vent anyway. The Renai gasket is very unforgiving and it tends to bond to their heavy aluminum inner pipe. And it's very difficult to get those apart without actually breaking it. So our different uh, accessories for the venting are different terminations. 90 degrees, 45s, roof terminations, things like that. Uh, you guys have full inventory of all of this vent as well. We can also vent them out the roof using that vent termination we just showed you. And it shows any time you have a vertical on it that you definitely want to hook up the drain. You can get a little water trap that's kind of a canister trap. We don't have that as an accessory. Most people are just zip tie and a little pigtail in the pipe like that. And again, you want to put water in that pipe because if you don't, you're going to be blowing the exhaust out of that pipe wherever that water heater is located. For electrical requirements, you can just plug it into the wall. We do not recommend using it with a GFCI. That should have a big fat X through it. You don't have to have a dedicated circuit, but you can. If you have a code inspector that wants this hooked into a GFCI, if it's plugged, you can just hardwire the unit and you don't have to worry about the GFCI at that point. For our electrical requirements on the outdoor unit, it is required that it have a switched outlet or a switched connection at the unit. The control panel gives you a lot of good features on the water heater. The indoor unit has the buttons accessible right through the cover. The outdoor unit, you actually have to take the cover off, which is why we provide the wired remote with it. So you can mount that somewhere else to get all your diagnostics, change the water temperature, and so forth. So basically on the unit, you have your power button. You can turn the heater off from the power button and you do not disable the freeze protection system that's built in. And so if you got a, a vacation property, a hunting lodge, something like that, that's going to be unoccupied in the wintertime, just turn the power button off at the water heater so then you don't have to worry about the freeze protection not being kicked in. Don't just unplug the heater. Plus and minus buttons for raising your temperatures. The diagnostics button, basically the information button is going to give you the most information you need. Incoming water temperature, flow rate, outgoing water temperature. Most problems can be solved from that button just to see what's going on. And then of course a reset button to reset your error codes. This water heater will give you up to the last nine diagnostic codes that have happened with the product. The upper display segment pretty much shows you what's going on. It shows you the set point temperature. If the domestic water is in use, if there's an air code, the little wrench icon will be lit. If the burner's on, the flame is on. The flame icon's on. So you can see what's going on right from the code, right from the display. Navi Cirque, this is one of our most popular accessories. We're selling more and more of these. This allows you to install the Navi Cirque under the furthest sink of the house, control the external pump from the water heater, and use the cold water line as a return. So we can have domestic water recirc without having a recirc line in the house. The Navi Cirque is built specifically for the Navians. It has a lower pressure drop, gives you a higher flow rate. It's very similar to the Grunfuss Comfort Flow T, but again, it's designed for the Navian to work a whole lot better. Once you put that in, you would set the recirc parameters. From the keypad, you can set a lot of different things. You can set it based on temperature or time, or if you have the wired remote keypad, you can actually set it by the hour, seven days a week programmable. If you have error codes, they're going to show up on the cover. So it'll show up on the keypad. Inside the cover of the heater, 
you'll have all of your error codes listed out so you can find out what those codes mean. Those codes would also show up on the wired keypad. If you have the wired keypad installed, again, you get a lot more information and a lot more functions and a lot more programmability of the water heater. We can cascade these. All we need is our communication cable, same as the other tankless water heaters we sell, to plug the two computer boards together to cascade them. You guys will run into a lot of existing Renai jobs where you have two heaters and you can plug these right back in. You would just need our communication cable to connect the two Navians so they can work together. Accessories, went over a couple of them, but we'll just hit them again. Of course, our Navi vent is our primary accessory. So we would recommend that you guys sell our Navi vent with every water heater. The Navi Circ, which we talked about already, you guys have that. The different pipe covers, we have a pipe cover box that can be used to hide all the connections underneath the water heater, kind of pretty things up if it's in a utility room or something like that. The NPN recess wall box. We can use a pipe cap for our indoor unit to make it work as an outdoor unit, but most people are just going to buy the dedicated outdoor unit. I don't anticipate we'll sell a lot of those. The Navi link is a very nice feature. This can be used with all of our tankless water heaters. What this allows you to do is the Navi link hooks up to the home Wi-Fi. You download a free app for your phone, and you have a lot of different control parameters on that phone, especially running your research systems. And you can get all the data usage from the water heater, your burn rate, uh, BTU usage, pretty much everything you could ever want to know about what's going on with your system. Also, your error codes would come through the phone app as well. If you're in an area that you know has hard water, if the homeowner does not want water treatment, the Peak Flow E is an option for you to sell to help protect the water heater from scale. Our heat exchanger warranty is 15 years, but if you have a hard water failure with that heat exchanger, Navian's going to figure that out pretty quick. They're going to ask for a water test. The Peak Flow E would be a good solution to that problem unless you're selling them a water treatment system, softener, et cetera. The cartridge is replaceable in that and it's relatively inexpensive. H2 Air Kit is there for hydronic air, hydro air applications. There are a lot of combi systems installed running a hydronic air handler for heat and of course the tankless for domestic hot water. There's a lot of them out there. You can sell this accessory kit with that application. It's gonna make it run a whole lot better. The hot button is an on-demand feature that we have with this kit. A little board is installed and plugged into our main board inside the unit, and you can use wired or wireless buttons throughout the house to activate the research system on demand just when the homeowner wants it. Of course, that also can be done from the NaviLink app on the phone. Support when you need it. We are seven days a week, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., 363 days a year. We are not open on Christmas and New Year's, but every other day of the year you can get tech support. Anything that has to be done with these water heaters in the field that is not a very easy solution, you guys need to tell your contractors to call tech support. We keep a record of everything and we need to know what's happened with these water heaters. That way we can build a history and if it's a problem unit, it makes it a lot easier to solve those problems. The Navian Rewards is also available for your contractors. They can sign up and earn points based on their installations for free seats to the training academies, promotional items, etc. Being a Navian Rewards member also allows them to sign up for the Navi Lend program, which is a financing program. They can actually put the whole renovation together into this financing program if they like. So it gives your contractor an easier way to sell what could be a more expensive appliance. It's basically just a revolving credit, same as cash or reduced interest loans. If you need more information, our website has everything you need utilizing the buttons on there. There's a resource tab and a tools tab Using those, you can get all the piping and wiring diagrams and installation instructions. Uh, we get a lot of guys that say, my unit didn't come with a manual because they've lost it. They can go right on this website from their phone and get the manual and again, access any of our diagrams and guides that they need. We're also on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram. So there's lots of stuff on there you can find. Uh, there's a Navian Facebook group actually that's a really good resource for a lot of folks. And if you have any questions, please contact Harry Eckloff and Associates. Your local salesman would be glad to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching.